It's that time of year, the time when you go through your closets, you fill up bags full of stuff you don't need anymore. But as the saying goes, one person's trash is really another person's treasure. So organizer Nikki Manley from Streamline Living is here to join us on how one person's garbage can be a real, a real prize for somebody exactly, else. Yeah, it can make a huge difference. Huge difference. So, so there are charities that you could donate. I mean, aside from you know the usual T-shirts or mm -hmm. you know uh, pants we don't wear anymore, jumpers we don't wear yeah, anymore. Yeah, and kids' toys. That's the stuff we always think about donating. But there's other things that just kind of hang around in your house for ages that you don't need that someone else could really use. Right, eyeglasses being one. Yeah. Of them. I would never have thought of that. Yeah, well, a lot of people have eyeglasses just in the extra drawer. You know, as they get their their prescription updated, they just don't throw out the old one. Right, but. Definitely, there's um, the Lions Club will collect lion, or will collect eyeglasses across Canada. And you can also take them to your optometrist too, or anyone that makes eyeglasses too, and they'll send them off to third world countries. Not just the frames, but the lenses as well. Yeah, huh? lenses, uh, sunglasses too, magnifiers, anything to help vision. That's great. So. Uh Formal dresses and suits. This is a great idea. Yeah, this is excellent, especially right now. Prom's just around the corner. So formal dresses or prom dresses is great because girls only want to wear their dress at one time, and they spend a fortune on it. And yeah. there's a lot of girls and young men that can't afford prom. It's an important night for them. So Absolutely. there's a few organizations. Um, Inside the Dream is in Ontario. The Cinderella Project is on the West Coast as well, too. And some of them will collect for men too. Um, perfume samples, jewelry, anything that helps the whole prom experience. And dressforsuccess.org. I mean, particularly yeah. uh, you know men's suits and this sort of thing. That which is yeah. a great idea. Definitely, yeah. And and business clothing. You know, people that are getting back in the workforce and they just want to make that best impression. It's really yeah. important. Yeah, okay. For sure. Um, running shoes is another thing. A lot of people just they buy a new pair of shoes every year and they just kind of collect and take up a lot of space in that closet. Um, so if they're wearable running shoes, they can go to the Darfur region. Um, Soul Responsibility collects for them. And they collect in the Ottawa area any of the walks or marathons going on. Great idea. And Nike has a, pro a program too. When it's on offer, sometimes on a sports complex is being built in, throughout Canada mm -hmm. and the world, they'll take a shoe like this that's not really wearable and they grind it down, take it apart, grind it down, and make the new surfaces, that spongy kind of surface. Really? Yeah. Oh, just idea. from the material, like, yeah, like yeah. the spongy material yeah, you see in the sole. Yeah, they take away all the rubber, sort of they thing. grind it right down, and so the running room will collect for that when that's on offer, and some other select running room locations will collect too for charities too. This is a great idea because so many people, mm -hmm. you know, want to have the latest and the best of, of, of whether it be a cell phone yeah. or a laptop or the PDA. Yeah. And what do you do with the old one? Well, that's the thing. That's terrible in the landfills, too, because the toxins can leak into landfills. So you want to get rid of them, and everyone wants to constantly update. Mm -hmm. So there's a few places. Project Redial is part of diabetes, and they will collect. Um, there's phones for food, too. They will sell it to a company that will refurbish them and raise money for local food banks, which is a great way, too. That's a great idea. Yeah. Recycle Inc. is part of diabetes, too. And they'll take all those cartridges to refurbish them that way too and raise money. Really? That's great. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and blankets and towels? Yeah, blankets and towels. We're always updating our bathroom decor and everything wants to be perfectly matched. So, what do you do with the old ones? Sometimes they're not in great condition, so you maybe don't want to donate it to another family, but it's great for an animal shelter like the SBCA, Humane right. Society. They could really use this kind of thing for bedding and looking after the animals. I love this idea. Yeah. Couldn't bring the real thing, so here's a cart. You can actually get you can get a tax receipt for your car. If it doesn't pass all the emissions tests and things like that, there's car heaven. Um, they'll do that and they'll make sure like none of those toxins are getting into landfills again too. And the kidney foundation too. They'll take cars too and auction off and take apart, take apart the parts and donate it as well. Do you have any tips for people? Okay, I mean, who, who you know, you, you hear about all these individual charities and they may have a number of these items that they can give away, but they mm -hmm. just don't have the time, mm. you know, to, to call these individual charities and drop off all these things. What do you say yeah. to those people? Any hints? Um, hire a professional organizer. That's yeah. what I say. <laughs> um, it's it's really hard. There's a lot of time that people can't get to. So if you t even take 15 minutes a day after dinner, just before you sit down and relax and watch TV, just run around the house, collect some things, and when you have it and it needs to be donated, put it in the trunk of your car. Mm -hmm. Because then when you're out, you will actually drop it off. It's so many times, if I'm with my clients, I take all the donations, put it right in their car that day. Otherwise, it's just going to sit in that hallway and collect more clutter. It's true, it's true. Yeah. And, and more often than not, some of these charities will pick up. Yeah, oh, a lot of charities will pick up too. Diabetes is one that will pick up too. Cerebral palsy will pick up as well. So just call your area and you can ask to your local township office and see who else donates or collects things like that too. And there's a lot of other great organizations too that I didn't mention, but all across Canada. So all of these websites are on your website, yeah. uh, which is linked to our website. Yeah, so if definitely. you go to our website, you can find you'll Streamline find me, Living. And then you'll find there too. Great. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Nikki. Uh, question of the day is, we'd like, you, we'd like to know your thoughts on have you started your spring cleaning yet? Yes or no? You can go to canadam.ctv, cast your vote, and still